Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will explain another example on conditional probability. See the statement of given problem. Okay, first of all, don't worry about by seeing the statement of this problem. Maybe statement is very lengthy, but solution is very easy. See, in a certain town, 40%, 40% have brown hair. Okay, there is a particular town. In that particular town, 40% uh, of the people have brown hair and 25% uh, have blue eyes and 15% have both brown hair and uh, blue eyes. Okay, this is the data from that city. A person is selected at random. So, blindly one person is selected uh, from that city. Okay, so see the questions. If he has, what is the mean by he? Randomly selected person. If randomly selected person has brown hair, what is the probability that he has blue eyes also? So, what is the given question here? Already one person is selected and that person is provided you as he has brown hair. So, first condition is person has brown hair. This condition is given to you. By using this condition, you have to find out probability that that person, that same person have blue eyes also. So, suppose if you take the event that the person has brown hair as A and uh, the person has blue eyes as B, then here you have to find out probability of randomly selected person has brown hair already. So, brown hair means A. So, here you have to find out probability of B given A. A happens first. That's why. Now, what is the next question? If he, he means a randomly selected person. If randomly selected person has blue eyes, then find the probability that he does not have brown hair. So, what is the first condition here? Your given condition is randomly selected person has blue eyes. Blue eyes means B. First B is happened. So, by using this condition, we have to find out probability that he does not has brown hair. It means that A bar. You have to find out probability of A bar given B. So, by seeing this theoretical statement, you have to write the symbolic form. That is the important thing. Okay? That's why you have to read the statement carefully. If you understand the statement, then problem will becomes very easy in the probability. So, reading the statement of the given problem is the only important thing in solving of problems in the probability. Now, what is the probability that randomly selected person has either brown hair, brown hair means A, and blue eyes. So, whenever you have R, you have to take the symbol union. So, in the third part, we have to find out the probability of A union B. So, what is our problem uh, in this solution? We have to find out probability of B given A, probability of A bar given B and probability of A union B. So, totally this solution has three parts. Solution. So, first of all, let A is equal to event of randomly randomly selected person has brown hair has brown hair so according to the statement probability of a becomes what is the chance what is the chance of uh, getting select, uh, getting randomly selected person is a brown hair it is 40 percent okay so 40 percent means 40 by 100 so don't cancel these zeros now let b is equal to event of randomly selected person person has blue eyes so, according to the statement, probability of B becomes 25%. 25% have blue eyes, that's why. Percentage means 
division 100. Okay. Also, according to the statement, what is this 15%? Probability of randomly selected person has both brown hair and blue eyes. So, and both means intersection. Don't forget it. So, intersection is also given to you. It would be 15%. So, you will get 15 by 100. Okay, this is the given data. See, here we have to find out what is the first question. Randomly selected person already has brown hair. Brown hair means A is given to you. We have to find out that person also has blue eyes. So, you have to find out probability of B given A. So, according to the definition of conditional probability, it becomes probability of A intersection B by probability of A. What is the probability of A intersection B? 15%. See here, already I wrote here, 15% means 15 by 100. 15 by 100. By probability of A, it is 40 by 100. So, 100, 100 gets cancelled. It would be 15 by 40. By using phi table, it becomes 3 by 8. It is 3 by 8. Now, what next? We have to find out probability of A bar given B. A bar given B. So, it becomes probability of A bar intersection B by probability of B by the definition of conditional probability. What is it? Already you know it. What is the formula for probability of A intersection B? A bar intersection B. Since B does not has complementary, first you have to write probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. Already we discussed this type of problems uh, in, earlier prob in earlier problems also. Please see that videos. Probability of B means only probability of B. Separate the terms. Probability of B by probability of B. Both gets cancelled. You will get probability of A intersection B by probability of B. So 1 minus. So what is probability of A intersection B? It is 15%. So you will get 15 by 100. Whole by what is probability of B? It is 25%. So it is 25 by 100. Very easy problem. So 100, 100 gets cancelled. You will get 1 minus 15 by 25. Using 5 table, it is 3 by 5. So 1 minus 3 by 5 means 5 minus 3. It would be 2 by 5. Okay. Now finally, what is the last question? What is the probability that randomly selected person has either brown hair or blue eyes. So, we have to find out probability of A union B. Understanding the question is very very important. If you understand the question perfectly, you can easily solve the problem. According to the addition theorem, it will become probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. Probability of A is nothing but 40 percent. It would be 40 by 100, it would be 25 by 100, minus it is 15 by 100. So, 100 is the LCM. So, 40 plus 25, it is 65, minus 15. So, it is 50. 50 by 100 means off. Otherwise, it is a 50 percent chance. So, what is the conclusion? If you randomly selected a person from that town, that person will be either will have either brown hair otherwise blue eyes is 50 percent chance okay in the next video i will give some more examples on probability thank you very much